Thomas, the tank engine, has worked his branch line for many years and knows it very well. Just where to stop, Thomas, laughed his driver. You could almost manage it without me. Thomas had become conceited. He didn't realize his driver was joking. Later, he boasted to the others. Driver says I don't need him now. Don't be so daft, snorted Percy. I'd never go without my driver, said Toby earnestly. I'd be frightened. <laughs> boasted Thomas. I'm not scared. You'd never dare. I would then. You'll see. The next morning, the firelighter came. Thomas drowsed comfortably as the warmth spread through his boiler. Percy and Toby were still asleep. Thomas suddenly remembered. Silly stick in the muds, he chuckled. I'll show them. Driver said I could manage without him. I'll just go out and then I'll stop and wee. That'll make them jump. Thomas thought he was being clever, but really he was only moving because a careless cleaner had meddled with his controls. He soon found his mistake. He tried to wheeze, but he couldn't. He tried to stop, but he couldn't. He just kept rolling along. He didn't dare look at what was coming next. There was the station master's house. The station master was about to have breakfast. Horrors, cried Tom Thomas, and shut his eyes. The house rocked, broken glass tinkled, plaster was everywhere. Thomas had collected a bush on his travels. He peered into the room through its leaves. He couldn't speak. 